IMF Managing Director Christine Lagarde says the global economy is in a very fragile state. She made the comments during a conversation with Yahoo Finance's Miles Udlin, and he joins us once again from D.C. So, Miles, what other topics did you touch on today? Yeah, you know, outside of the headlines that we've gone through a few different times here at Yahoo Finance, we also extended our conversation and talked about a couple of interesting areas. I think Brian Chung might like one of these, and it's digital currencies that central banks might issue. We also talked about regulating some of the biggest tech companies in the world. Take a listen. It's, it's actually happening. Uh, when you look at the Caribbean islands mm -hmm. and the, uh, the Caribbean uh, central banks uh, and the Bahamas, actually, uh, you have, I believe four or five islands, mm -hmm. which together have decided at central bank level to go with a, di a digital currency. So central bank digital currency mm -hmm. is coming alive. Uh, it's, it's not going to happen today. I think they have a 12-month experimental mm -hmm. period that they want to, uh, to go through before they actually uh, launch for good. And how much at the IMF are you thinking about the next 70 years of the global economy, and specifically on issues um, like climate change, which you mentioned mm -hmm. today as an overhang on where this, this whole project might be headed? Well, I think, you know, some of those global issues like climate change, like uh, corruption, um, are issues of general interests, mm -hmm. and particularly for young people. So while we've served uh, the international community for 75 years, we need to look at what is going to interest and motivate those who will be 75 years uh, in 75 yeah. years. So looking at young people, what is of, con of, of concern to them is, in my view, really important. Mm -hmm. um, we do not want to venture in areas that we have no competence in. But clearly, the fiscal impact mm -hmm. of climate change-related policies is critically important. You're talking about you know, $5.2 trillion, which is huge. It's right. almost 6% of global GDP. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at those numbers. This is our, this is our business. This is what we are uh, mandated to do, to see where the revenues come from, where the spending is, whether the fiscal position is, is in a good place and provides a good equilibrium. So climate change is vitally important. Corruption yeah. uh, is also extremely important. And the research that we will be releasing in a few, in a few days mm -hmm. demonstrates very clearly uh, that corruption is a break on growth. Corruption is a break on employment. Corruption deteriorates mm -hmm. confidence. And you talked about the, the winners take most um, economy. Dynamic, and, and, yeah. yeah, and it's sort of a, an interesting thing because most conventional measures have said things have gotten better, right? It's not all bad. Um, but it does feel like these companies are contributing to an increasing amount of economic inequality. And so is there a role for a more international organization like the IMF to step in and have conversations with a company like Facebook or an Amazon? on about how they can, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe be better global citizens or maybe make the global situation more fair. And you also talked about um, changes in corporate taxation that could come mm. along with that. I think they come together, you're right. And I also believe that there is an awareness of what's happening. And uh, that would be very welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, because I believe that all things have to take place in coordination. Uh, you don't just go and, and impose rules without having debated them and consulted and, and, and checked uh, the direct impact and the indirect consequences. But clearly, in the area of market power, mm -hmm. you do see, and that's research that will be released in the next few days as well, but you see a group of uh, large, dynamic um, companies that do have the benefit of that uh, winner-takes-most um, that, that you've described. And it's, it's not creating a huge problem for mm -hmm. the moment, but it's heading in that direction. Yeah. So I think we all need to be extremely uh, aware and cautious about it. And we need to frame those policies, look at competition rules, look at barriers to entry, mm -hmm. look at how some of those large companies gobble up uh, little uh, shoots that are trying to uh, also make a name for themselves. All that needs to be, to be addressed so that we do not have uh, those those mm -hmm. global monopolies that really do not um, are not conducive to a large share of income going to employees right. 
as we have seen. And of course, those companies have fewer employees um, with more output than Correct. you know a manufacturing company. Now, um, over the weekend, Mark Zuckerberg put out a, an op-ed, basically mm -hmm. saying inviting mm -hmm. regulation. I think it was met with quite a bit of cynicism here in the U.S. But is that the kind of thing that you think we need to see? We need to see global executives coming out and saying, we want to be a part of the process. I mean, does that seem to you like the best solution for um, figuring out how these companies fit into the world? Again, that you know, we're talking about where do we go over the next 75 years? Well, let's hope it is genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, because as I said, coordination is needed. Cooperation of all actors uh, will be conducive to something that works, mm -hmm. rather than something that on paper works and will will be avoided and schemed mm -hmm. uh, around by the uh, by the corporate sector. Uh, but I think you know, truth of the pudding is in the eating. Right. Let's see uh, if if those companies with a, with that uh, growing market power are genuine mm -hmm. about it. Uh, it's probably because they have a vested interest in setting out the framework within which they can operate mm -hmm. and avoiding um, you know, the negative consequences of somebody else suddenly realizing that they are a problem yeah. and uh, need to be um, addressed yeah. um, without much cooperation. Look, maybe I'm just cynical and I don't think the IMF uh, is going to change and really address climate change or I'm surprised to hear them talk about Facebook's power. Now they come short of saying it's monopoly power, but certainly uh, there are dynamics in the global economy that we hear from a lot of politicians, uh, certainly on the left here in the U.S. and also abroad that the IMF seems at least sympathetic to or that they're exploring. And so outside of the usual, oh, here's how the global economy is going to grow, uh, I think some really interesting comments from Christine Lagarde about where the fund sees its re research and its work going in the coming decades. Uh, great questions. Miles Edlin in DC. We'll check back in with you shortly.